Iron Bowl with enormous implications. The winner in this one, the 2017 SEC West champion, and punches their ticket to the SEC championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs. To Jordan, here we go. The tide traveling, looking to finish the season perfect. But Auburn would say, not in this house. Carry on Johnson with the jump pass. Auburn strikes first at 7 0 Tigers. Auburn would be in great field position, fumble, and the Tide would answer right away. Jalen Hurts on a designed run is going to look to throw this one, and it's caught by Jerry Judy for the touchdown. Alabama ties it up 7 7 here in the second half. Bo Scarborough, he's going to give Alabama the 14 10 lead with the touchdown. But Auburn would answer right back. It's 14-13. Carry on Johnson. This time he's going to plunge right into the end zone. Auburn retakes the lead 20-14. It would be Auburn's half. Jared Stidham on the read option keeper. This is the QB showing off the wheels, lowering the shoulder. He's in for six. Auburn takes the 26-14 lead, and they don't look back. War Eagle takes down number one Alabama, the second number one team to go down to Auburn in three weeks. 26 to 14 is the final largest margin of victory for Auburn since 1969 in the Iron Bowl. Here's Nick Saban on what he believes should happen to his team in terms of the college football playoffs. You know, I, I think this team deserves the opportunity to get in the playoff uh, by what they've been able to accomplish and what they've been able to do. Certainly not. Uh, maybe in this game, but I think the team we play tonight is a very good football team and probably one of the best teams in the country. Um, they won 11 games. Not very many teams are able to do that. And I, I, I really don't know what all the scenarios might be where we would have an opportunity to do it. Uh, I'd certainly like to see this team get the opportunity to do it, and I think they deserve it.